Hi, this is Kate from Minute Earth. And this is Scarface, one of the hyenas I studied in Kenya. And like all male spotted hyenas, his life sucks. Babyhood is actually the pinnacle of a male hyena's life. Itty bitty cubs of both sexes rank just below their moms, who make up the entire top of the clan's social hierarchy. So cubs have decent access to food, sleeping spots, and everything else. But male cubs' glory days are short. Females generally don't like mating with males from the clan they grew up in. It's probably nature's way of avoiding inbreeding. So once males turn two or so, they leave their clan and strike out on a lonely, dangerous search for a clan with better mating prospects. Lots of other mammalian males do the same thing, but for them, the transition to a new group is an opportunity to challenge high-ranking individuals and increase their social standing. Not so for male hyenas. They endure aggressive hazing by the new clan before even being allowed to join. And once a male does gain acceptance, he becomes the very lowest ranking hyena in the pecking, or bone cracking order. The tastiest food rarely makes its way down to him, and there's no way to move up the social hierarchy besides simply waiting, either for new males to join the clan below him or for males ahead of him to die. No adult male will ever top a single female, resulting in a female dominated hierarchy. This is all weird. Unlike most mammals, male hyenas are subordinate to females, which is probably because, unlike most mammals, female hyenas are bigger and meaner than males, which is probably thanks to their need to stand up for their offspring in this kind of crazy feeding frenzy. And, unlike pretty much all mammals, physically fit or socially capable individuals can't make their way to the top of hyena society to do most of the decision and baby making. They're the only social mammals we know of with such a rigid hierarchy, and we don't yet know why. We do know the outcome, though. Male hyenas like Scarface end up plagued with injuries from harassment and hazing, endure prematurely worn down teeth from eating too many bones, and on average only live half as long as females do. The best they can hope for is that, at the end of the day, they'll have left behind a few cubs, which is not the best for the ones that turn out to be males. While I was getting my PhD, I spent several years in Kenya studying hyenas like Scarface. And the rest of the Minute Earth team has done amazing research and explored all sorts of cool places, too. To find out about the adventures of the Minute Earth team, learn how we make videos, and ask us your burning questions, join us for a live-streamed Q&A on Friday afternoon at our Patreon page at patreon.com slash minuteearth. Joining our Patreon community will not only give you access to our live stream and other perks, your support will also mean we won't have to resort to gnawing on bones to survive.